Hello everyone, my name is Tom Baxter and I've been asked to make a small video to Gelta about the home flat jet. Um, the reason I got into the home flat jet, um, especially making a video, is partially for uh, my swimmer, um, not my swimmer, uh, our swimmer in Crawley Swimming Club, basically um, stuffed it. And at the moment we are in lockdown, so we just try and keep, keep the motivation and uh, inspiring from us to try and get into home cooking during the lockdown. And this is to enjoy all the entertainment when possible. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make two different videos, one uh, for the club, which is much more um, just got nothing to do with me, you can't even see me at all, but I, at the same time I'm going to make a second video of um, explaining each stage or the baking and so on. So, um, as I mentioned, it's for my swimmer, I'm actually uh, a swimmer myself before I become a assistant head coach at Crawley. And yes, that's me over there doing a um, breaststroke. I used to swim for Great Britain, including seven, seven times, um, two European, two World Championship, and three Gek Olympic Games. If you've got any questions about the flat jack or regarding to women, please feel free to comment below and I will definitely get back to you all. So hopefully you enjoy the video for Galta. Enjoy. So here are all the key ingredients. So the first thing is the golden syrup. Uh, butter, golden brown sugar, grape carrot, spiced cinnamon, oat, chopped um, dry apricot, orange this and we've got some wonderful pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Alright, so next that is making sure you're picking butter and some uh, golden syrup in with some brown sugar and just really give it a melt, just really keep stirring it around uh, until the mustard and all mixing well together. Once it's almost ready, you just continue stirring and just really get yourself well prepared because you've got a nice bubbly butter, just like this. Just make sure you put in the rest of the ingredients in from the grated carrot on there, oat and some pumpkin tea and just really try and get it stirred in in a no heat at all. Okay. Right now we all should be coming together and just really keep mixing it, mixing it around. Once all everything sorts of come together, just put it into the tin and just really try and push it in everything so it's really compressed together. The temperature would need to be in the oven at um, about 150 degrees and that will be last for uh, 45 minutes depending on how well you like it going. If you like it crispy then give it a few more extra minutes it doesn't do any harm. After that just come out of the oven and should get a nice golden colour crispy edges it's just the way I like it to be. Leave it to cool. If I get into 15 pieces and leave it to cool even further and hopefully you will enjoy this. Yes.